Okay, here we are to another Apple Watch update. Just a couple of minutes. Basically, I wanted to say it looks like everything's going to be going pretty good with this thing from now on. Um, I thought I was having some kind of irritation on my skin. There was this incredible tingling sensation for at least two days. Or actually, no, more like three or four days. Now it just went away. So if it was some kind of irritation, it wouldn't just, you know. Um, there was no actual irritation on my wrist. I saw one little small pimple uh, that was like red. You could think it was irritated or something. No, it had nothing to do with the watch being worn. Now, right now I'm wearing that the Alpine band. I'm just gonna bring it back to the store and go back to get the ocean band. Even though that's what I did in the first place. I got the ocean band and got this one. Well, this one is work. I don't know how anyone can say this is a good band. It attracts so much lint and all kinds of stuff. If, so if you go to bed and when let it sleep track, what happens is it attracts all the lint and dust and everything on the bed and you wake up and it's all over the damn watch. And um, it's really not a nice thing you wanna see. So I think I'll go back to the ocean band. I don't care how obnoxiously big it is. It's a lot better than this. But I'm gonna tell you the ultra, just look at the, since it's in sleep mode, Look at how like, it's huge, but look at how small of a wrist I have. Like, people were concerned, right, about the fact how the hell you're gonna put this on. People were saying it'll just dangle off my wrist, it'll be moving around. Look at this. This is, I have it at about the right setting, being tight enough, and it's not really moving around. It slides down my wrist a little when I do this sometimes. Um, you can get it too, you can move it a little, but. For the most part, on this setting, it's perfect. If you buy the small version of this for the wristband. So, that's all I have to say. Good luck, everybody. And remember, this is this is how it goes. And if you want to um, buy an Apple Watch, you're going to have to go through the, the side effects. All because you have a few days of a problem with your wrist doesn't mean you should rush to the store to take it back. I think the return policy was, what, 14 days? So you should probably wait um, at least a week before you decide to take it back. That's a stupid reason to take it back. Um, you should try it out first. It's a very wonderful watch, and I'm sorry, but Apple doesn't offer an Apple Watch with even close to this battery at all. None of them do. I think the nearest one is, what, the Series 8? That's like half the battery of this. That's pathetic. They need to make an, a budget watch with a battery that's, say, maybe 25 hours for the day not 18 or 16 or whatever it's rated at. All right, bye-bye.